Hi, welcome to Handbrief TV, episode 49. I'm your host, Chris Matthew, N7ICE. Today we're going to talk about crossband repeating. Basically, build your own repeater with a simple mobile radio. Stay tuned. Okay. This is basically what I have. Um, I have, you need a mobile radio. Um, I found this one at a ham fest. You know how I love ham fests. It's a Kenwood TM732A. They don't make them anymore, but it was pretty cool in its day. It had a detachable head, uh, nice built-in speaker there. But the important thing you'll notice is that it's uh, dual band, the dual band radio. Now, another really I mean, important feature you need to do uh, for crossband uh, repeat is that your radio needs to support crossband repeat. Duh. Okay, so it's a dual band, 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and um, it's missing a knob. No big deal. Still works. Um, what I have in the back of the radio, it has two antenna uh, cables coming out of it. They go into a duplexer. So we have a duplexer here that has um, 2 meter VHF on one side, 70 centimeter UHF on the other side. So these are the two uh, uh, wires that come out of the back of the radio, the antenna ports. Then it goes to a single uh, antenna port on the back end, which on my roof I have a uh, a J-pole uh, arrow antenna that uh, it's feeding. And I'm just kind of sitting here on the patio. I've got a battery uh, supply there from Sears. Uh, love that thing. Uh, so it basically allows you to be uh, totally portable. Wherever you go, you're, you're able to be online. Well, what if you're out camping or something and you need a way to have um, to tie into a repeater, but your HT, maybe that you're out and about with, isn't powerful enough to hit the repeater. What do you do? Well, this is what hams have been doing for a long time. They'll take uh, the mobile radio in their car or at their campsite, they'll put it into crossband repeat mode, and uh, using their HT, they're able to uh, communicate from the HT to the uh, mobile radio, which then repeats the, uh, uh, the signal from the HT out to a repeater. Um, or to friends. I mean, you, you could basically have, you know, friends at a campsite all talking to each other, you know, using your, your mobile uh, radio as a repeater. So that's what crossband repeat does, and that's what we're going to do here. Um, with this particular radio, it's pretty simple. Um, you select, let me see if I can get this in a good enough position. You select the band you want. So, you know, you can see right there, I'm on two meter, the PDT buttons at the top. There I'm on uh, 70 centimeter. You can tune around to whatever frequency you want to do this on. So the way this is going to work is I should be able to talk on 146 uh, megahertz and it'll retransmit on 441.500. So you make sure you find some frequencies that uh, are not in use and um, don't have uh, uh, you know, just basically not in use. What I've done here too is I've turned them both on simplex. So I've taken the uh, the offsets off uh, for repeater mode because I'm just going to do a little test here to show you. And on this particular radio, um, you hold this function key down for a second, and then you hit this uh, mute ABC button, and that puts it into uh, crossband mode. And um, it's supposed to be some dots on the screen, but this particular radio, it's pretty old. Uh, what I've noticed is when it's in crossband mode, it doesn't let you change frequencies. So let's try it. So we'll hold function down for a minute. Then we hit that button. We heard a, a tone beat. And now we try to turn it. No, nope. don't think that worked. No. Nope. There. There we go. Okay, so now it's in 
crossband repeat mode and uh, we know that because now we can't change the frequencies anymore. Okay, well how do we test this? Let's go to my lab. I have two HDs. Follow me. Okay, now I'm out uh, in my backyard uh, away from the repeater. It, the repeater, the, my mobile radio. It's over there on the patio and uh, what I have with me are two Yaesu HTs. I have the VX8R and the VX7R. Um, love both the radios. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Remember, uh, one of the frequencies was 146. There it is, 146 megahertz. And the other one was 441 500, right? That's what we programmed into the radio. Um, so on this radio, I have my band set on this one, uh, 14600 is the one I have selected. On this radio, I have 441500 selected. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk in the 7R, and it's going to talk to the mobile radio, and you should hear uh, the repeat from this one. So this one's on, on VHF, this one's on UHF. My mobile radio is cross-banding from VHF to UHF. So um, let, let me see if I can find a way to demonstrate this uh, so, so you can hear where, where it's coming from. So um, let me see. How do, I do, how do I do this? What if I do N7ICE, this is N7ICE testing, testing, testing. N7ICE, we should be uh, cross banding from 14600 to 441500. Uh, and sure enough, I'm talking on VHF and it's receiving on UHF. So, a successful test here um, on cross band repeat. N7ICE, I'll be clear. How cool is that? Right, so I've, I've got two HTs, and say I'm four-wheel driving, right? I've got my, uh, the, um, the mobile radio in my truck with a, a nice tall antenna, a 73's mobile tall antenna, and I'm out with my buddies um, at the campsite, and we're able to uh, talk back and forth with HTs. Um, you could even set it up to where you're coming in and out of uh, repeaters uh, across town too. So. You know, your HTs maybe have uh, five watts of power, or even one watt, you know, if you're out, out and about uh, a remote base, and um, your, uh, your mobile radio can be putting out, you know, 100 watts or 1,500 watts, you know, out to another repeater. So, pretty cool. A lot of uh, mobile radios have that functionality, as long as they're dual band uh, mobile radios. So, take a look at the specs before you buy, if you're interested in cross band repeat. It's very interesting. Um, some radios, mobile radios, can even do in-band uh, repeat, uh, which basically makes it like a, a real repeater. So say you're in two meter, uh, you could basically um, do an offset of 600 um, kilohertz and uh, both with, you know, within the same, uh, the same band and basically create a repeater out of just a simple mobile radio. You know, and these days mobile radios, you know, 50 watts or so, um, that's a, a, a decent size repeater. Um, I noticed there was a setting also on um, the Kenwood where you could set a timeout, just like a real repeater does. So you know, if someone's talking for more than three minutes, say, you can set whatever time you want. It basically times it out so that uh, it, it gives the, the radio a, a break. So um, I think I picked that radio up, that Kenwood up for about a hundred bucks at a ham fest a while back. So the deals are certainly out there. You just have to keep your eyes open. And um, there's never enough uh, time in the day to experiment with ham radio. So that's it. Cross band, repeating. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ham Brief. Until next week, 73s.